Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. This is the Circle K. <laughs> it is. Awesome. Hi guys, welcome to AKA Our 80s Life where we're all about the 80s. And one of my favorite 80s movies is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So of course we had to start our adventure out at the place where it all began at the Circle K. Yes, we are in Phoenix, Arizona. We're gonna take you to some of the filming locations from the original Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And you guys, they're making a new one. I'm so excited. It's coming out supposedly in August, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. With Who would have thought this cast? many years later that they would do a third movie into the series? Yeah, because it's been 30 years, over 30 years since the first one. I can't even believe that. It makes me feel old. But you guys, right here, we are at the Circle K. We, we figured out which one it is. There's a bunch of them here like on in every, Phoenix. Like, like on every street. Yes, <laughs> but this is the Circle K where they filmed the movie. What's it like to be in the actual Circle K? Really cool. <laughs> you can tell it's kind of an old school one too. It is old school. Yeah. No gas station. No gas station, yeah. Just a convenience store. Remember the park, Keith, where the the phone booth comes down Ooh. out of a lightning bolt, out of the sky. I feel like it was right around this area. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where it was at, but it was like around the second parking spot, like right, right here in this general area. scenes from the movie. This is the part where Napoleon um, goes to Waterloo, the water park. So here we are, we're turning in. Oh, it's so cute, look at that. The castle, just like in the movie. So fun fact, the movie was actually filmed in February, so it was a bit cold when they were doing these scenes. Yeah, but I read that um, the actor that played Napoleon was great and he was a really good sport, even he, though he had to swim all day in the cold temperatures. Doesn't get that cold in Phoenix, but it was probably pretty chilly. Um, but they said he was a good sport and that he had a lot of fun filming this um, this part of the movie. So this is a neat place. It pretty much looks the same. Yeah, I would love to get on some of these water slides. Yeah, I wish we had time. We would totally do that. But we got to go on to the next location. All right, now we're headed over to Ted's house. Now, remember Ted's dad? He was the policeman and he was real hard on Ted. He was about mm -hmm. to send Ted off to military school. In Alaska. In Alaska. <laughs> Poor Ted. Yeah. So that's why they really had to ace 
that uh, that report of theirs because if he didn't, he was out of there. If he didn't, he said he was in danger of failing most heinously. We are in danger of flunking most heinously tomorrow, Ted. They show this house a couple times, but the part I like the most is when the phone booth lands in the yard. Napoleon's grabbing onto the outside of it, and he ends up landing in this big tree in the yard. This has been a most unusual day. Unfortunately, the tree's not there anymore, but you can definitely recognize the house. It's a beautiful home. Yeah, it's really pretty. And it's in a really pretty it's, area it's here. It's a really nice neighborhood. Yeah, for sure. to Bill's house, Bill Preston Esquire. <laughs> um, and it's not that far from Ted's house, but um, we thought Ted's neighborhood was really nice. This, this is really, really nice. nice. Bill's neighborhood has some big houses. Turn left onto West Gaylor Drive, and then the destination is on your right. Okay, we're turning onto his street. Home of the Wild Stallions. <laughs> Okay, this is the neighborhood, Madison Meadows. The destination is on your right. It's really pretty. Look at that house, you guys. It's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. The destination is on your right. Looking for 112. That's Looking for 112. Okay. I have a feeling it's probably changed a lot since the movie came out. All right, okay. the next one should be 112. And there it is. There's Bill's house. It's beautiful. It looks very different from the movie though. But remember they practice in the garage. And they blew their amp or something. <laughs> yeah. It was all smoking. The smoking. And they came out. Yeah, but there's his driveway and his garage. So that part would be similar, but it's definitely changed a lot. All right, the next location we're at is Chuck E. Cheese, which Chuck E. Cheese is not actually in the movie. It was actually Ziggy's ice cream parlor, the part where Bill's brother takes Napoleon and they have the ice cream eating contest so they can eat that, oh, that huge bowl of ice cream. So this is Ziggy's, also known as Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese. Cheese. Movie magic. Yes. Now we're at the bowling alley where Napoleon acts like a baby when he doesn't win, then he doesn't pay, and he gets kicked out right here on the sidewalk. Throw him out right there. <laughs> I don't want to see you around here anymore. Beat it. For my going to say this shit. Beat it, my D. And you're... It's boarded up right now. I guess they're shut down because of COVID. Yeah, but that scene is really funny. He's hilarious. That actor was great. All right, on to the next location. Our next stop on the tour today is to Metro Center Mall. And this is the mall, if you remember, where they took all the historical characters. Um, Genghis Khan destroyed the Ashman. <laughs> Sigmund Freud was hitting on the girls at the uh, food court. Uh, Joan of Arc did the jazzercise. That was awesome. Beethoven was playing the pianos. I love awesome that. Scene. Probably the, fa the best scene in the movie was here at the mall. So let's go inside and take a look at the place where they filmed that awesome scene.
and in a small. And this is where people of today's world hang out. Here's the escalator that they used in the movie. It's currently closed off and not functional, but that's the one. We're, we've made our way upstairs, and right down there in this area is where Joan of Arc takes over the aerobics class. It's a hilarious part. I love that part of the movie. She's so cute. Played by Jane Wheatland, by the way, of the Go-Go's. Now we're at the food court. What happens at the food court? So in the scene we're talking about specifically, you have Billy the Kid, Socrates, or Socrates. 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 <laughs> Sigmund Freud, and yeah. they uh, go hit on these two young ladies at the mall. Yeah. And, uh, after they've gotten their food at the, uh, was it hot dog and a stick? Well, it was hot dog and a stick, but we're thinking it was in this area. This is, most of these places are closed this now. Is, this, the most currently, this was a Dairy Queen. Yeah, but in the 80s, apparently, it was the hot dog on a stick. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Billy the Kid thinks that the girls will be impressed By that he's wanted, wanted. His wanted side. He shows them his wanted poster. Yeah, that's hilarious. We're from history. <laughs> well, sadly, our tour is coming to an end. But it's been a most excellent adventure. Very excellent. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our video today. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun 80s content. And in case we don't see ya, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. Oh, party on, dudes. <laughs> party on! <laughs> party on, dudes!